presentations of the living room play workshop festival i'm your hostess with the mostess and the workshop instructor and my name is katie h if you don't know and i'm back on the red carpet cat hair infested rug and i am so thrilled to have you here with us tonight for another evening of sharing really cool performance pieces that were inspired by the living room play workshop uh, which we hosted Thursdays at 5.30 p.m. for the past several months. Just in case this is a new thing for you and you're like, what am I watching? This is what you're watching. You're watching the final festival performance event of the pieces that came from the Living Room Play Workshop. Woohoo! And I want to kick things off tonight with a little good news. Since this first workshop was so successful, we had so many cool people be a part of it, we're going to bring it back in 2021. We just decided for sure this, this week we're going to do it again in 2021. So if you enjoyed watching the performances from this and wish that you had the chance to develop your own original site-specific performance pieces in your living rooms, hey, you can join us next year. Dates TBD. But feel free to start brainstorming your ideas now. Go for it. Tonight's presentation, like I mentioned, is the second installment of some really fabulous original art that was made during the quarantine. Isn't that incredible? So I hope you are curling up with a loved one or a loved pet or a loved pillow and are ready to be inspired by the fantastic people that participated in this workshop. You also can check out last night's presentation on our Facebook and our YouTube pages if you missed it. It's there forever and ever, and so will this one. But it's more fun to watch live. Hello, live people. Say hi to me. Hello. Hello. Now, I'm going to warm our audience up with another little dad joke from my cameraman. Hey, Jonathan. Hey, Katie. What did... Tennessee. What? The same thing as Arkansas. <laughs> okay, let's move on. Each piece of tonight's presentation will be introduced with a little place card that has the playwright's name, the play name, the playwright's name, the cast, some show info, what have you. Make sure that you check those out so you know who made every performance that you're seeing. And we also have a digital program available in the comments if you'd like to read up more about each playwright for tonight's show. The first piece of tonight is a little different than the others. We had a couple of playwrights that just submitted short written pieces to us without the ability to film their own plays, which was okay. We got together some marvelous actors to share a reading of their work so that we could include that in tonight's presentation. So the first piece is gonna feel a little different than the rest, but it's still gonna be fantastic. And if you were here last night, yes, we have returning performers, Linda Libby and Eddie Yarak, also in this beginning play. All right, everyone, enjoy the show. Is everything okay? What did I do wrong now? Now I know you're upset about the inauguration tomorrow, but I'm not responsible for that. So give me a clue. Not responsible for the inauguration. Now that's an interesting remark. I thought I knew you. I thought after 43 years. I bet. Yeah. When you tell the number of years, it's it's going to be bad. You married me under false pretenses. This is going to be a biggie. Yeah. Uh, if you took out the garbage, 
but now we're getting the garbage too. How could you do this to me, to us? I thought I knew you, but I, I guess I didn't. It's not like I had an Say his name. Yes, you can say his name. Oh. You've been cursing him for the last year, Donald Trump. It even sounds horrible. How could you vote for him? I mean, you're Jewish. Jews do not vote for Republicans. You've been a Democrat your whole life. I mean, we met at the rally for McGovern. We worked to get Clinton elected. How could you do this to me? How could you do this to our, our people? Ah! you have to say? Ha. Why in God's name do you think that I was not telling you this? Mm. After 40 some years, I knew this is exactly how you'd react. And I just want to say one thing. My vote does not make any difference in California. So who cares who I voted for? It's the principle of the matter. It's, if the principle is all that matters, what happened to the principle of the secret ballot? You joined the Republican Party. Okay, I made a donation. Yeah, a donation? Can it get any worse? How could you tell, not tell me something so vitally important as this? If you look at how you're reacting, you might have a tiny clue why I wouldn't want to tell you. You betrayed me. And worse, you betrayed my trust and the trust of all the women in this country. 46% of the women in this country did not vote for you or Hillary. And so I don't think you can speak for all of them. But that really isn't the issue anymore with us, is it? Do you listen to anything I say? Are you interested in my real opinion? Or if you disagree with me, am I automatically wrong? But we always agree on everything, especially politics, always. No, we did not. You agreed and I listened. Our whole marriage, I thought that what you know, our entire marriage was based on truth and honesty. No, marriage is based on truth and honesty. And this is why. Truth and honesty means that I should be able to have an opinion of my own. I didn't want to vote for her. And frankly, I didn't want to vote for him. But working with the people I work with for the last eight years has not been easy. The poorest always had medical. But the folks I counsel, their medical bills tripled and their jobs gone. And I did not feel comfortable voting for her because she's a continuation of that. I don't know if Trump will help, but I do know Obama had the UN censor Israel. And for all the rhetoric, I hope Trump does better than that. And that's my opinion. But that man has no political experience. He's a monster. Did you not hear the things he said about women? I did. Not nice. Mm. Also not nice is these videos were brought out when? Big complaints when the FBI attacks Hillary before the election, but it's okay to bring up a video from what, 10 years ago? What if everything we said was recorded? Would it sound so good in a few years? Is this over? Are we finished? I don't know if I can sleep in the same house with a Jew who is so prejudiced. So oh, me, prejudice. <laughs> you should see what goes on when I meet with some of the other guys who voted for Trump. There are more? Oh yeah, we have to meet in secret. And you know what we talk about? The fact that no Jew talks about the fact that this is the first president of the United States who has Jewish children and grandchildren. Horrifying. A grandson who had a bris. They keep kosher. We don't keep kosher. They keep Shomer Shabbos. We don't do that. I mean, must we agree? All agree on everything. And if we don't, can't we just be civil about it? You know, my grandmother was a Democrat till the day she died. My grandfather, he was a Republican. No fights ever. No political talk either. They agreed to disagree. You had other Republicans in your family? Now you tell me that? And that's all you heard? Amazing. A mixed marriage. You came from the child of a mixed marriage. How far would do those secrets go back? Wait a minute. Now we're the mixed marriage. How can we stay together after this? So this is it. The marriage is over. Well, if our marriage was predicated on always agreeing with every little thing, then you know what? Maybe it was never so rock solid like you thought. I mean, we've been through other things. The kids being born, teenagers, driving, marriages, a divorce, miscarriages, life. 
Don't you think we can get through this? How can we? This is like the foundation of our lives. Political parties are the foundation of our lives? <laughs> We've been through the obligatory therapy, and that's an issue you're always complaining about, that I don't listen to you. Well, think about it. If I had been able to talk to you, would I have hidden this from you? Which brings up another interesting question. What else have we hidden from each other? Oh, I know you didn't cheat on me or gamble or take drugs or embezzle funds from the synagogue. Are you sure? Okay, I admit those are not my secrets. But I have to say, well, sometimes when you ask me to take out the garbage, I just put my foot in there and squash it down. I have news. That's no secret either. All right. I guess maybe I'm not so perfect. Really? Hmm. Are you ready to go on to confessions.com? I know you prefer your food heated up on the stove. And sometimes, well, sometimes I put it into the microwave and then I stir it up real good. You, cheater, you. That's the two of us. <laughs> Bad to the bone. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Did you switch your party allegiance to... Oh my God, not Republican? Well, in the interest of honesty, I did switch my party allegiance. Oh my God! I knew something was up when you didn't go vote with me at the same time. I don't care if Trump has Jewish family. I don't think I can sleep with a Republican. I changed to the independent party. Well, I guess that's not so bad. Actually, maybe you'd be interested in joining with me. There's no conventions, no meetings, no dues. And there's only one thing we all agree upon. And what would that be? We hate everyone. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess we could agree on that. Thanks for letting me use your space today. My office was infested with murder hornets. No problem. Welcome to the dream room. Wow, this is a lot more colorful than I'm used to. Why do you call it the dream room? This is my place to dream. I'm a writer, so I need inspiration. Hope you don't mind I turn into my war room. I'm in some tough litigation. Being a lawyer isn't fun and games. Are these toys? Oh, no. They're just some things to help me be creative. Creativity flows in. Creativity flows out. Round corners. Well, I better get to work. Time is money. Gotcha. Um, if you don't mind, before I work, I like to pull an oracle card to set my intention for the day. Okay. 
it's painless. Just pull a card. We can both use it to focus our energy. Make room for a new way of thinking. Make room for a new way of thinking. Make room for a new way of thinking. What's that supposed to mean? I guess we'll find out. You call that a settlement offer? I call that an insult. I don't have time for this nonsense. Call me when you're serious. My client is prepared to go into battle and will utilize their entire arsenal of corporate litigators. Hope you have money to burn because this is going to be expensive. They're going to bury me in paperwork? I will bury you. I will bury you. It's already lunchtime? That's what my watch says. Wow. You really turned this into your war room. Half of this is yours. I know. How's your work going? The other side won't budge. What about your work? I've been a little distracted. I haven't written one page. Everything's trash. What are we going to do? Make room for a new way of thinking! You call that a character? I call it a stereotype. Call me when you get deep. This plot will utilize an entire arsenal of symbolism and illusion. Hey, listen, dog. I was thinking. Maybe we could settle this thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, solutions flow in, solutions flow out. That was fast. I settled my case. Congratulations! And I have a great start to my story. This has been a productive day. Yes. Thank you for letting me share your dream room. No problem. Anytime. Um, I think we switched watches. How did that happen?
morning sunshine. Time to get out of bed. I don't want to get out of bed. It's a beautiful day. I don't exist anymore. Nonsense. Look, day's just beginning. So much could happen. So much has already happened. See? Possibilities are endless. Not what I meant. Oh, we're gonna get so much done today. We're gonna cook pancakes, finish reading Moby Dick, paint the bathroom, write a poem, help the kids with school, finish work by 2 p.m. so we can go jump in the ocean. <gasps> that reminds me. Let's shave our legs today. Um, excuse me, I hate to interrupt all the uh, hopes and dreams, but um, it's almost seven. We're falling behind. Just one day. I want just one day off. We're in quarantine. Every day is a day off. I mean, let's not forget that awful commute. I want the commute. I'm sorry I ever talked shit about the commute. And what replaced the commute? Bacon. We get to eat more bacon. I was trying to go vegan before all this shit. Speaking of food, I think we might all feel better if we just eat a little something. Chop chop. Kids are going to need to get up really soon. Are we going to have time for a run? Eating with the team at 9 a.m. Better make sure the kids are focused. You don't want them on YouTube, but they should be learning math. Math? We have to do math stuff today. Oh my god! Do I even want to do what three math times stuff eight today? Is. Three times eight. Well, maybe we can just Shit. kind of talk about like how math makes us feel. You know, that could work. Okay then, let's get up. I'm just gonna check the headlines. Oh, no, what are you maybe not doing? do that. Just put the phone um, down. The phone. Come on, down. Put it down. We, oh we know god. better. We absolutely we know, know better than this. this. We I can't believe you would love us. Come on, put the phone. Oh, too late. Too late. No. Every oh, time it gets us. Look. Every time, why do we I look at the headlines? The news. What? The climate. Just got through a night of heartburn. Election. It's not going to be okay, ever. This is hopeless. This is hopeless. This is hopeless. This is that hopeless. article we read about the uh, seismologists saying that yes, we could totally see that if we just got stopped like shaking hour, after the world girl, went into quarantine by seven. Like, Make sure the kids people move around so much. Right now. I think I'd have to get yeah. at six or maybe five. So five a.m. Couldn't I'm measure sure. at five a.m. Earthquakes then could properly. Get up, go for a run and then be but back now we're stopped in order to make it's a lot quieter. So when we went into quarantine, we should make bacon. The earth stopped shaking quite so much. I don't mean to like break up all of this like inner dialogue and all, but Am we I really still registered need to, to get up. It's, uh, I should check again. A little bit past seven now. And, maybe um, I'll go to the polls. Baby shark uh, Maybe I can starting. dress. Baby shark the mailman is gonna suck. Baby shark if the kids baby don't have breakfast for their... How do you not know what three times eight is? You should know that off the top of your head. You are. Baby shark Maybe just confirm the fire stone. Baby shark doo 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 the whole world's on fire. Everything. Everything is on fire. Yeah. You're right, you do feel it. It is on fire. Remember? Those serotonous pine cones you found? Couldn't open them, they were sealed shut with some kind of resin the tree. We found out that the only way they open is through a forest fire. And the crazy thing is those seeds, they come out of that pine cone before the fire consumes that tree. So in the middle of the fire, that new forest is already growing. Hold that thought in your belly. Let it bloat you with hope. Dear Gaspar, looking forward to our first evening together. Oh, hi. Uh, come on in. God, it's been a long time. Hi, Gaspar. So, this is your place? Yeah, Nana's old place. 
and you're an artist on top of everything else? Yeah. Um, this used to be Nana's uh, old studio. She built a lot of her stuff here in this very room. Um, sometimes I think maybe she left a little bit of a creative spirit behind. Kind of rubbed off on me. So you did all of these? Yeah, I call this Gaspar's Night Gallery. Remember that show when we were kids? Uh, what is this? Uh, this one right here? Well, that's uh, a sad, angry, lonely little girl who's peeping out from behind some curtains. And she's thinking of ways she can exact revenge on those that give her the short end of the stick. I call it Sis. Uh, the play is about a, an artist who's also a writer who's afraid of losing his charming little apartment after the property that he lives on has been purchased by a developer. They want to tear the whole thing down and turn it into condos. Um, and then um, he meets a girl online and then his sister comes into town. And uh, she's real, like, wacko, so a lot of the play has to do with her psychological issues. Have a seat. In fact, here's the script. So it brings my uh, baby sis down to North Park. I thought I'd just check up on you and see how you're doing after this whole pandemic thing. Yeah, you sure you didn't come to see if I was dead so that you could claim this property that Nana left me? Uh, you mean left us? I can't believe that you live in this dump and you haven't even sold it yet. Getting my half of the money would be nice. I can't imagine why you keep why you stay in this little cracker box. Ever since I moved in here 10 years ago, I've had this sudden burst of creative energy and I've wanted to do nothing but write and draw and make things. Sometimes I like to stand out and look out Nana's window and watch people as they walk by and make stories about them. If I had to move, all that creativity would die. Do you make money off your paintings? It helps pay the bills. I don't need much more than that. Thank God for my day job. Mm. That's right, you were never impressed by a vulgar display of wealth. Well, I'm a city bachelor, you know. I wouldn't do good out in the suburbs, living in some house in the tranquility of looking at trees and lakes, you know, that would get really boring. You know, for me, it's the chaos of the city is what's inspiring. Do you have a dog? Would you like a sip of wine, a sea ridge, or a cracker with a squirt of cheese? I quit drinking, but I'll help myself to these lovely chocolates here. Mmm, seas, how classy. Uh, Ginger sent them over. Ginger? Yeah, uh, this girl that uh, hit me up on this dating app called Tinder. Um, she uh, is coming over in a few minutes. We're going to run lines from the script. You know, I never met her before, but I figured that this would be a bit of an icebreaker. Coconut, that's your favorite. You always hated that you could never impress me. Let me tell you, being rich isn't all it's cracked up to be. Just the stress of running out of decorating ideas by the time you get to the seventh bedroom is something I would not wish on anyone. So you quit drinking. Sober for six years now. Since then I've turned my life around. I've learned more about who I am and what I'm capable of accomplishing. After I moved to Los Angeles, I started my own realty company. In fact, I just bought a building, my very first building right here. You, a slumlord? Why am I not surprised? Uh, by the way, Ginger's coming over any minute now. So, uh, you know, you gotta get going. I have big plans for this block. High-rise condos, retail underneath, but I have this one tenant that won't move out, and I just don't have the time to drag them through the courts. Uh, let me recall his words, I think they were, they'll have to carry me out of here in a pine box. You know that saying, life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. Same goes for meeting someone online. You know, you should uh, really be careful about having people over to your house that you don't know. I mean, sometimes they may look like a buttercream, but surprised inside there's a big old nut. I love your tender profile. 
big bone dog looking for one night hookup, no strings attached, into spanking, pinching, chocolate, and enemas. I can't wait until the next family reunion to tell them that. You're, you're the new landlord? Meet Ginger. I knew you'd fall for it. You were so eager to have me come over. Meeting to rehearse a place kind of lame. Oh, end scene. Five minutes. Hey, that wasn't bad. So tell me, what do you think? Oh, but before you say anything, I really like your costume. I, I liked it, but your death scene was kind of creepy. You know, do you think that the audience would realize that it was the chocolates that were poisoned? It makes sense to me. So you want to film this tomorrow night, right? Uh, yeah. Seven o'clock? Yeah, that'll be good. Okay. Well, hey, listen, you know, I want to thank you very much for helping me out with this. I mean, taking time out of your schedule. Oh, I emailed my sister the script in hopes that she would come down and help me out, you know, as a way to repair our relationship, but I never heard back from her. Oh, and by the way, thanks for sending over the chocolates. That's one less prop I have to worry about. I didn't send chocolates. Saul? Hmm. What the hell? Yep. ¿Qué pasó? ¿Qué pasó? You mean, what happened? Yes. ¿Qué pasó? I mean, do I need to call yes. somebody? Yes, you do. Come here, Saul. Red or white, Rona? No, no, no. Stop what you are doing. Oh. And look at what I'm looking at, would you? I'm looking, I'm looking. Jesus Christ. You're not looking. I'm looking. I'm looking. See, I'm looking right at you. Saul? Mira is Oyos. No, 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 look up. Hold on, let me put my glasses on. No, you don't need your goddamn glasses right now. I need to see them. My doctor told me I need to wear them more regularly. They are hideous, Saul. Oh, my doctor told me to wear them most of the time so I can get used to them. Mm. I picked out these frames myself, imported all the way from Italy. Saul, Saul, es un pinche hoyo. I never thought I'd be able to afford Italian glasses. My God, things have truly turned for the better. Es un pinche hoyo, Saul. Uh, a what? -o? Un hoyo. Pinchy hoyo, pinchy hoyo, pinchy. A pinch eye. Is that what you just said? No, no. That's oh, not yes, what it I is. Just said. Yes, I'm finally getting it, little by little. No, that's not what I just said, Saul. Ojo means eye, hoyo means hole. A hole. Ojo means mm. eye. Oyo means whole, I see. Oho is spelled with a J and has that that raspy sound. The hawk sounds like a sort snort about to hawk a loogie. Hawk, oh hell, ho. Oh, disgusting. Yes, yes, you got it. Look, we are not having a Spanish lesson anymore. Look at that. No Spanish lesson. But I've been looking forward to it all week, Rhoda. I even had a Spanish lesson or a conversation with the lady at the market this week, and I think you would have you been have impressed. You have bigger problems right now, Saul. Okay. I guess I'll take you home then. No, no, no. I am not going home until you explain that. Explain what? No need to explain, like, canceling a Spanish lesson. No. Put on your goddamn glasses. I got my goddamn glasses on. No. Okay. And don't get worked out about this. How do I look? I like a million books. There, are you happy? Now look up, please. <laughs> Why are you laughing, Saul? Mm. Well, isn't that interesting, Rona? Isn't that interesting? That is not interesting. That's... That's quite that's... a hole, all right, Rona. It's your goddamn house, Saul. What are you gonna do? Nothing. Nada. Nada. Pero por Dios? No, no, never, never judge anything just by the way it looks, Rona. 
Let's give it a minute to settle down. Settle down with the no. shock of it all, that big hole. No, no. Sometimes holes like that need a minute to settle down. Unbelievable, Saul. How do you know this? Let's just say it's not the first time that's happened. Why don't we... Hmm. We don't want to scare it away. Holes like that can sense fear. And it's probably more afraid than you are right now. And it might look like a hole to you right now. But I think you know there's more to it. That's why you're nor you're a little... Hmm. Never mind, never mind. I don't blame you. I mean, I was scared the first time, too, when I saw something like that. I mean, and it was twice as big, and it was back of my... Oh, you know, let's... Never mind that. Just fine, right Saul. There, fine, let's, Saul. Uh, let's... Look, Saul, there's a goddamn hole, and I can see the sky. Oh, tisk tisk, Rona. It's more than just a hole, Rona. Much more than just a hole. It's a whole lot more. It is huge. I know, it's a goddamn miracle. That's what it is. And we're gonna get one <laughs> hell of a view of the moon today. A miracle. Es un milagro. A goddamn milagro. Oh, no lo puedo creer, Saul. That, that is not a miracle. That is a catastrophe. A catastrophe, Saul. Who did this? Somebody did this. Call the police. Rona, we're not... No. Nope, nope, nope. Yes, no. No, no, no. Yes, yes, Saul. No, no, no. Rona. Mira and Tiende. No so, tre, o se. Talk about it for a minuto. Pero first, let me get you something to drink. It will do you good. No. Babita. No. Babita Are you serious? Paquita. Are you serious? Yes, I'm having one. You should too. What would you like, Rona, red or white? I know you've had a long day and you still made time for me and I appreciate you. Now, red or white? Now, if you want white, I know you like white. I'll go down to the liquor store to pick you something up uh, because I want you to enjoy yourself. And tonight, hmm, tonight's about getting what you want or what I want. No, no, so, no, no quiero nada, gracias. Red, is that what you said? No, neither. Neither? I don't drink anymore. Since when? Since I quit, so. When did you quit? In your mother's funeral. <laughs> oh. But this is a cause for a celebration. I mean, let's not hold back now. It's now or never, Rona. Now or never. How do you say that in Spanish? Hoy or nunca. Exactly. That sounds nice. Hoy o nunca. Hoy water. Nunca. So, water. That's my new mom. Just give me water. Water! Wait, where? Is it, is it raining already? No. Condenado water. Give me a glass of oh, water, please. All right, I see. Glass of water for the lady. Hijo de la canción. No, 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 Please don't talk Spanish without translating it for me. I'm trying to learn as much as possible. No, no, no. You don't want me to translate. You don't want me. Trust me. <laughs> Here, this will give us some clarity. No, Saul. I know I'm pretty clear. Oh, call the police right now. I'm not going to call the police. It does not... It does not need to be reported. To what do you mean you're not going to call them? I'm not going to call them. Well, who are you going to call? Ghostbusters. Ah. Uh. No, Rona. No, Rona. I'm not going to call anybody. It doesn't work like that. This type of situation. Oh, so is... now you are the expert. Oh, Jesus Christ. No. You can't even let go of that drink so you can investigate your hole right now. Now it's my hole. You saw it first, Rona. It's your hole. Desgraciado. We call it the Rona Ho. Rona, Rona Avis. El Hoya de Rona. Potus, come see Rona Ho. Te voy a triturar la cabeza. I don't know what that means, but it, it does not sound it, nice. Let me tell you what it means. It means somebody did this while we were gone. What? Yes. No one yes. was around. Mm -hmm. No one was around when we left. I don't think someone did this. I think something did this. Ridiculous, Saul. You just don't care. Somebody did this. I do care, and I care very much. And yes, perhaps that hole, I think that hole knows what it's doing. Jesus Christ, Saul. Oh, Jesus. yeah? Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, Rona. You know what? Maybe that's, maybe you're right then. 
Maybe, maybe we should call the church instead. Oh, you think maybe this is a joke, Sam? You think yes. this is a joke? Call the police. Call the church. Call somebody. But call. Call. Uh -huh. Aye. 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 Yeah. 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 What are you looking for? My phone. Rona, the police don't care about these things, uh. and they don't know how to deal with people. Oh, they will care. They will care more than you are right now. Oh. Look at it, Snow. You look at it. Look at it! Somebody did this with some kind of dynamite or something. Somebody needs to know. Oh, so Rona. Somebody needs to know. I'm gonna call my brother. He is a firefighter and he's gonna fix this. Where's my telephone? Ooh. I would have some telephone? of my neighbors blowing up. Some of them are already big holes, big A holes. No lo encuentro. It should. It should be there. Your no. phone should I be there. I used it in the car. Did you leave it in the restaurant? It's in the car. It's in the car? Rona? Answer it, Rona. That's your phone. No. Rona. No, no, that's not the phone. Rona. That's the whole... It's the whole calling. Rona, answer the phone. No, I'm not going to answer. Answer it. You answer, answer it. it. You answer it. You're a hole, Rona. You need to answer it, Rona. So, I don't know how to answer. How do I answer a hole? Answer it. You put your hand out. Put your hand out. Stick out your pinky. Stick out your thumb. Now put your hand against your head. Just answer that phone. You answer. Answer that phone. You no. answer. Rona, it's your, it's your hole. You need to answer that phone. Bueno. 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 Tonight. We get all that we want, Rona. All that we want. Get wrecked, you undead trash. Yeah, yeah, I know they didn't ask to be zombies, but if I die, we have to start this level all over again. Cover me, I'm healing. Wow, is it just me or has her gaming gotten a little aggressive? Will you focus, please? She's going to be done gaming with her buddy soon and we still haven't figured out what she needs to do next. She doesn't need to do anything. We're in a freaking global pandemic. Yeah, I get that. But you know she'll pressure herself into being productive in some shape or form, and if she isn't, she'll enter a guilt-ridden cycle of anxiety and depression. How the heck do you not know this? We're approaching, like, the 200th day of quarantine. It's ridiculous. Survival should be priority number one right now. Screw being productive. Now, wait a minute. I don't think you should limit yourself just because you're stuck inside. There are still so many ways you can add a little bit of positivity to the world. Screw you! Are you kidding me? Absolute bull! Yep, she seems real positive right now. I don't even know why she's wasting her time gaming right now. She knows how much injustice is going on in the world. She should be doing something about it. Yeah, like what? Enlighten me with ways Miss Unemployed Actor can actually change things from her living room. For one, she can use her social media platform to educate herself and others about injustices and how to resolve them. How to dismantle oppressive systems founded on white supremacy. Do you really think you can change someone's mind on social media? Come on. She'd be talking into a bubble. I bet her whole network, aka everyone she hasn't unfriended, already shares her ideals and it's all just a big echo chamber. Wow, you must be so fun at parties. There are plenty of people in her network she fundamentally disagrees with. Meaningful conversations with them are possible on social media. Ha! Huh, funny. How many did you have among the loads of people spouting their garbage racist arguments and making the internet a terrible place to spend any time on? She has a point. And we know Rianne doesn't like arguing with internet people. Waste of energy. She'll still feel guilty for not helping the cause today. She's privileged enough to not have to think about the many painful realities our oppressed brothers and sisters have to face every day. She'll just come off as a performative ally. No, she won't. She can't be a good ally if she doesn't allow rest to recharge and space for joy. People can't let themselves burn out trying to fight for the cause every second. I'm actually with her on that. Plus, there are other ways to help other than social media and what is visible to an audience. I guess you have a point. Mmm, so I guess getting glammed up and taking like a really cute selfie is off the table. The lighting from the window is like, perf right now. Hashtag golden hour! 
Okay, but what if we slapped on like a really cute quote about like finding the true me in quarantine? Here, take this. Knock yourself out taking 50 selfies you never post. Oh gee, you're the sweetest. Ooh, Brad says, hey you, kissy face emoji. Yeah, well Brad's looking for some special attention in quarantine. Don't answer that. Hey you back. <laughs> Are you all done arguing yet? Since you started, I compiled a list of possible action items listed from most urgent to Ooh, least. I know, I know. How about uh, some restorative yoga or a head clearing long distance run? Hmm, jogging. Safe for you, not she for- She has solved tapes due soon, so this is probably more pressing than a workout. For productions that will probably end up being cancelled anyway. A real beacon of hope, this one. This is serious, y'all. If we don't figure this out, anxiety will take over and we'll be powerless until it recedes. We're wasting precious time! Well, whose fault is that? I accept some blame, as that is the first step to addressing the bigger issue. Oh, you can stuff that self-righteous BS right up Stop fighting! Excuse me? Yeah, you heard what I said. How dare you call that BS? If we don't take responsibility Bailing and accountability really for our country, everyone, everyone needs to calm down, down, take a breath. How are should be fighting no, we behind the scenes right now? You need to learn how to listen. That is so fine. We're just gonna waste the day. That's just what's gonna happen. We're just gonna waste the day. Yeah, he loves what's in this country. Yeah, definitely. That's right, son. That is how it's done. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 GG, y'all. <laughs> now what? She actually just left, uh, but she'll be back in a couple hours. Uh, here's the thing, um, I baked this fun dulce, oh, and you. she ordered from me, and I told her that I delivered this morning. Uh, you should have some. <laughs> I actually just went on a diet yesterday. A diet? <laughs> yeah. What are you talking about? You look great! Th thank you. I mean, I've been going to the gym and stuff, but also, like, I'm starting to not fit into my shorts, and it's just... It's just I can't buy a whole wardrobe right now, right? <laughs> well, I mean, one bite of a little bunch is hardly gonna make you gain anything. I mean, that's a problem. I won't have just one bite. <laughs> of a lot. <laughs> is there a good? <laughs> All right, well, if you want any more, just let me know. Uh -huh. And uh, you let your mother know I say hi. Of course. Okay, Miss Bills. Hola, guapo. ¿Cómo estás, papucho? ¿Cómo va tu día? What the f Perdón. No quise asustarte porque tu belleza me estaba llamando. Did you just talk to me? In Spanish? No lo sé. ¿Por qué no me lo cuentas tú? Y así puedo admirar tus sabrosos labios mientras te deleito con mi suave interior. Why do you have to be so graphic? Also, no, I'm on a diet, so. Back in the bag you go. No, espera. Mi trabajo es solo complacerte. Hacerte feliz. Tan solo por un momento de gloria. You really want to make me happy? You can go back in the bag and wait for my family to eat you. Pero quiero hacerte feliz a ti. 
Tu felicidad es mi propósito. Sin ti, para mí no hay mañana. Yeah, except you have a lot of sugar and bread. And I've been eating a lot of that over the past few months, so... No. Pero, ¿por qué dices que no es bueno para ti? Si te ves increíble, eres todo un galán. Thanks. I mean, I've been going to the gym a lot and said, Hey! I see what you're doing here. Me? Sí, tú. But I only want your happiness. See? I am now speaking English for your convenience. Listen, I'm not gonna be happy if I can't fit into my pants. But everybody's doing the quarantine 15. And also, dad butts are in nowadays. Didn't you see that new Zach Efron show? Carbs are not evil. He did look really good in that show. But he was also eating like plant-based food the whole time and he was like running around and exercising. Well, what's the harm in eating a little concha now and then, eh? I promise I will make your booty gigante. No, stop it. Leave me alone. I'm not going to eat you. But you were looking so beautiful tonight. <laughs> it was going to be the night of all nights for me. I was going to fulfill my purpose in life. To remind you of those enchanting childhood days when you ate a delicious concha surrounded by friends and family. Chocolatito, abuelita. Happiness, joy, the smell of warm spices in the air. Alas, I shall now recite a sonnet to wallow in my pity. Now is the winter of our discontent, made glorious summer by the sun of York. And all the clouds and lord of the upon the house in the mm. dim. <laughs> 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 Mom. Mom. Mom! What? I need help. Already? It's like 11 a.m. What? I, I mean, what's, what's on the schedule today, sweetie? This. The five largest lakes in the world? Who needs to know this? What grade are you in now? Fourth? Do you know how many lakes I can name? No. Two. Lake Michigan and the Salton Sea. Wait, wait, wait. That's a sea. Lake Michigan and... Ha! Ah, Lake Tahoe. How do you spell Tahoe? No, no, don't, don't write that down. It's definitely not one of the biggest lakes in the world. My point is, do you know how many times... As a grown-up, I've needed to know what the biggest lakes in the world are. Never. You'll never go to a job interview and you'll have to be like, hey, name the five biggest lakes in the world. It just will never happen. Why teach you this at all? I don't know. What should they be teaching me? That's a good question. What should they be teaching you? What will you need to know in this new world, this new post-pandemic world? What's on the list? Here. What? Algebra. Ha! Do you know how many times I've used... Okay, that's not a good example. I, like, literally used that last week. But history? Whose history, huh, little girl? Whose and it's not, it's not like we ever learn from it. We just go bumbling along like a bunch of white idiots. Figures of speech. Oh my God. I mean, metaphor, personification, onomatopoeia. 
you know you're literally never going to need that. Never. I mean, it's fun, but practical? What is on your curriculum about, like, systemic racism or climate change or pandemic shortages or, or, or the apocalypse? The apocalypse? What are you going to need for the apocalypse? You know what you're going to need for it? You're going to need to know when somebody is really run out of to- toilet paper or when they're just trying to sell you on their MLM. You're going to need to know when politicians are truly going to fix up an effed up world or they're just telling you they will. You know what? What? Forget onomatopoeias. Forget the Great Lakes. You're going to need to know the liars from the non-liars. Okay. Okay. So rule number one, liars will try to anticipate the questions that you're going to ask. So their answers will sound instinctive and natural. They'll like practice in front of a mirror and expect you to ask them at the, like the exact right time. So you got to surprise them. You know what I mean? Okay. So, oh, you know how daddy gave up red meat and he hasn't had a burger in like a really long time? Well. Exactly. Alex. Yes. So Ellie and I have been working on this homework and we're talking about the five largest lakes in the world and we want to Caspian Sea, Superior, Victoria, Lake Huron, and Lake Michigan. What? How do you spell Caspian? No, no wait, how did you know that? How do you not? I don't know. It's that's not our point. Our wait. Isn't the Caspian Sea a sea? Also the world's largest lake. All right. Well, what's the deepest lake? Lake Baikal. And the coldest lake? Lake Superior. Even last winter? Of course. Okay. But this one's hard. Is the price of a double-double at In-N-Out still three forty-five? It was last Saturday. How would you know? Um... Yeah. How would you know? I've got to get back to my knees. Daddy, where are my fries? Good work. Thanks, Mom. All right, so rule number two, like Shakespeare said, he doth protest too much. Shakespeare, he wrote plays. He did. He wrote like Romeo and Juliet. And like one of my favorite plays is Macbeth. Like Lady Macbeth is so... Wait! Wait, plays are dead. I'm teaching you something important. All right. Liars will say no and they'll close their eyes or they'll say no and they'll like look at the ceiling or they'll say no or they'll say like no. Ooh, ooh, rule number three. Liars will get really loud when answering questions and they'll like suddenly forget things that you know darn well they know the answer. Okay. Okay, okay. So let's practice. Alex! Alex! Ugh, go get your dad. Why are they taking so long? So... Mama, we had some questions for you. Aha! But we have questions for you. Did you tell Ellie that her school curriculum wasn't important? What? What? No. No, 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 no. Did you tell her about an apocalypse, that an apocalypse was coming? I mean, not per se. Shakespeare? Well, he is dead! Okay, I think it's time for a break. Let's put the books away, go for a walk, maybe get some lunch. Yeah, how about some in and out? (sighs) (laughs) I love an in and out.
Bueno. Ey, ¿por qué no me contestas? Ay, es que hasta ahorita estoy viendo el teléfono. Mentira, o sea, seguro no quieres porque era una videollamada. Ay, ya sabes que me chocan las videollamadas, no sé por qué insistes. Güey, pues para verte, tonta, I miss your face, come on. I miss you too, pero me cagan esas cosas. Güey, en toda la pandemia solo te has metido dos reuniones en Zoom, o sea, ya párale, ¿no? Tú misma me dijiste que ya estabas harta de tu soledad, come on. Yes, pero me choca que me obliguen a hacer las cosas. Ok, ¿qué no tuviste una clase de maquillaje ahorita? Come on, you're supposed to be camera ready. Yes, I did, but it was for skincare, o sea, cuidado de la piel. Güey, seguro por floja, you're so lazy that you don't even want to put makeup and that's your job, come on. It's not just that, it's just... I don't feel like doing anything. And, well, I'm alone all the time. I just don't see the point. Well, you're alone because you want to. That's not true. Believe me, I try. O sea, sabes que en el medio que me desarrollo, todos los hombres que conozco, I'm not necessarily their type. Y aparte, yo no tengo la culpa de ser alérgica. ¿Qué más quisiera tener así como un gatito, un perrito, todo lindo para decirle, hijo, ven? Y aparte, yo tampoco tengo la culpa de que soy una plant killer de todas las plantas que tengo, las mato. Well, whatever. ¿Ya abriste Tinder como me prometiste la semana pasada? Eh... En eso estoy. Come on, it only takes 10 minutes to set up and start making whatever you call those things matches. I'm not ready. Well, you promised you were going to try. You need to try at least something new. Come on. Es que ni siquiera sabría cómo platicar. Ni siquiera pudiera salir en una cita. Ya no me acuerdo ni cómo coquetear. Hace 10 años que no lo hago. Well, it's time and you're ready. And I'm not taking any no for an answer. Come on. If you don't do this, I will have to open the account myself and have them meet you at your house. No, 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 no. I'll do it. I'll do it and I'll check the options, okay? Well, options. Okay. Elige buenas fotos tuyas para poner en tu perfil. Nada de paisajes and all that crap. Ni maquillaje conceptual en blah, 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 blah. Y nada de fotos de fodonga que te encanta. <sighs> okay, okay. Ya está bien. Voy a poner fotos. A tu estándar. Well, más te vale porque si no sabes, ya sabes tú y sabes muy bien lo que yo haré. Ya sé, ya, ¿ok? Voy a... Es más, te escribo en lo que pase algo. Ok, I'll be here waiting. Thank you, by the way, for being the best friend this silly girl can have. You know what? Always. Bye. Bye. No creo que estoy haciendo esto. Moda, cocinar, no hay maquillaje, café. Vino, petis. Ah. Foto. Mm. Esta. Hay ya solo una. Ok. ¿Qué es esto? No. O sea, ¿qué es esto? Ya. Hola. Sí, soy nueva en Tinder, no te burles. ¿Hoy? Pero por un café. Adiós. No. O sea, no. Ok. Let's practice. Ay, no. Ay, no, qué matar. Este... Sí, bien, eh, pues estoy el otro, me dedico a esto. 
Sí, me encanta mi trabajo. Eh, sí, ¿y tú qué haces? Ay, ¿a poco? <risa> Ay, no, ¿qué estoy haciendo? Ya. Whatever the outcome, you must know you are brave. It's okay to be scared. You're ready. The last few weeks have been challenging. The last few weeks uh, have changed in many respects the focus uh, of this nation, not just this state. Uh, but I want you to know and be assured that our focus uh, remains uh, very, very, very direct at addressing the issue of the spread of COVID-19 and cognizant uh, of the fact that we are by no stretch of the imagination out of the woods and we continue uh, to have a lot of work uh, to do. We so, lift the hips up high and back, downward facing dog. Pedal it out here, bend the knees, one and then the other. Claw through the fingertips. Send the hips back, fingertips forward, extended child's pose. We're trying to keep active arms here, so... Broadway has been shut down for more than three months, and now an industry worth more than $14 billion a year will not reopen until 2021. It's probably the hardest. They're currently receiving more calls than we can answer and are unable to assist you at this time. Please try again later. And now to the latest on the coronavirus. The United States is reporting the highest number of deaths in a single day, nearly 1,500. CDC Director Robert Redfield says everyone in America needs to wear a mask or this coming fall could be... thought we should do it and when I did it well, what did you do with the time that you got you know what we did yeah what do you do what do you do when you have no case in the whole United States you when you, you excuse me you reported it zero cases zero deaths on January 17th January, January I said in January on January 30th what did the administration do in February for the time that your travel ban thought a lot a lot. And in fact, we'll give you a list. What we did, in fact, part of it was up there. We did a lot. Look, look. You know you're a fake. You know that your whole network, the way you cover it, is fake. Sit back and shut. The man ain't moved yet, bro. The man ain't moved yet, bro. Bro, you're a bum, bro. You're a bum, bro. You're definitely a bum, bro. Bro, he has not moved, not one he's, time. He's off, he's off track or no? He's but he don't, bro, go back in the store, bro. You don't understand. No, no, no. Back here now to that other major story we are following tonight. Investigators looking closely at surveillance video appearing to show the final moments of Ahmad Arbery just before he was shot and killed by a father and son who said they were trying to make a citizen's arrest. Here's that ABC Zachary Keish. A Kentucky family is demanding answers today in the death of a frontline health care worker who was killed during a police raid two months ago today. Breonna Taylor's family is suing three Louisville police officers 
after the 26-year-old woman was shot and killed in her apartment. Now, officials say this incident back in March was tied to a drug investigation where police were searching for someone else. As our national correspondent Jerika Duncan reports, Taylor's mother claims gross negligence took her daughter's life. Into effect at 11 p.m. Eastern Time. Protesters here in D.C. have gathered near the White House throughout the day, and we just learned President Trump was moved to the White House bunker on Friday. Jim, this photo opportunity, he didn't even know what to do once he got there. This thing was so badly yeah. thought out. This was just... ham-handed, no question about it. I this mean, was this this was bad reality te television. This wasn't even good reality television. And the There is no doubt that this will be known as the most controversial election in the history of American politics. In an unprecedented 6-3 decision, the Supreme Court rules to allow 10 battleground states' legislators to overrule the election results that went in favor of Joe Biden and instead give those electoral votes to Donald Trump over fears of voter fraud. Donald Trump has been re-elected as the President of the United States. In her dissent, Justice Sotomayor wrote that this decision marks the end of democracy in this country as we know it. Babe, why do we still keep getting these sour beers? Sorry. Raka ka 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 I could write these. Yeah, but see. A boot heel to the face. Crack. Appropriate. Crack, by the way. K-R-A-K. 
crack, crack. It's not like an egg cracking. No, that's a that's a boot heel to the jaw. What, you don't hear it? I think it sounds like it. What are you going on about? <laughs> Nothing, I'm just, I'm, I'm trying to make sense of the, uh, the onomatopoeia. Like, how they write, how they write sounds in, in comic books. Sometimes they're right on point. Other times it doesn't make any sense. Womp. Womp. <laughs> See, that's, uh, that's interesting right there. It's got weight to it, you know. This person jumps and lands, and the very act of landing is whoomp, whoomp. Hmm, I dig it. <laughs> I keep telling you, you Mr. Colin. Don't say that. I don't think I've missed my calling. I could still... That's not what I meant. Maybe I still, I, maybe I'm still gonna make millions somehow with onomatopoeias. You know, I've been wanting to get into voice work. You know, babe, I'm really proud of you. I'm not just saying that. This has been a really difficult year for everyone. And I think it's an affirmation of life that despite your pretty serious online shopping addiction that you're taking the time to to declutter you know to prioritize the space that we have to share it means a lot to me dude mire i can barely understand a word you're saying you know i hate talking to you through walls what's up wait before you answer that is this trash or is this recycling uh <laughs> it is neither no, that, it belonged to my grandfather. That is literally one of the last material possessions he owned that brought him unmitigated joy. You are aware that this is... <laughs> yeah. I am aware that it is a plastic toy statue of a grown man pulling down his pants, but first of all, since when have you not been into that? Oh, second of all, second of all it's not just any plastic toy statue of a man pulling down his pants. There's a sensor in there. Right, and um, and well, if it has batteries in it, when you pass it, it farts. Ugh. <laughs> he still laughs so hard. <laughs> and somehow he got my grandmother into it. I don't know how he achieved that. He was a charming man. <laughs> he used to put it by the front door. And that was what he wanted people to experience as they came into the house. Anyway, please, that goes into no pile. Just please keep it in the bedroom. Or, yeah. Thank you. You know, I just think it's funny that we're only throwing away my things and that we're only decluttering my stuff. Why is that? Okay, how come we're only decluttering my life? How come we're only getting rid of my things? Well, sweetie, as for the conversation you and I had that prompted this soul-sucking, I mean soul-searching exercise, I thought the emphasis was going to be on decluttering your stuff. Well, I think it's only fair that we get a pass at assessing how much your stuff is cluttered. But I barely own anything. <laughs> now that I think about it, other than clothes and a ton of books and that box of Ninja Turtle toys, babe, you don't have a lot of stuff. All right, you gotta pass this time. You are loved. Thank you. You're doing so good.
until I got big. I don't fit in these anymore. <laughs> oh, so depressed. You would look amazing in these, by the way. But it's full of holes. <laughs> Hey, Pauline. Staying safe in New York? Ugh, yeah, restaurants and bars are closing tonight at midnight. <laughs> oh, you know me. I always have a project or a hundred going at the same time, so I'll find something to keep myself busy. Yeah, everybody's home right now. My brother, my mom, me. Looks like it'll be that way for a minute. <laughs> no, I mostly just stay in my room. It's like my own little studio apartment. Yeah, well, thanks for checking on me. Yeah, I don't know. I'll let my mom know right now. All right. Okay, take care. Bye. Did you hear that, Keys? I sure did, Yuki. What do you think it all means? Oh, well, that's simple. More free time, more time to play, and more time to practice. Wow. I never thought of it that way. Hear ye, hear ye. I don't believe that would be the best choice at this time. This is a time for creativity, a time for show, to do the things and tell the stories that one has always wanted to. I don't believe that performance and art and creativity are the best choice at this time. I do believe at this time in her life, we should be pursuing the optimal choices, which is to perfect one's performance and one's habits. Well, then, yes, I do believe we will see. <laughs> Crikey. You hear those two bickering over there? They don't know what they're talking about. This Sheila, she's going to grab this racket. She's going to go out there to the court and she's going to rough some stuff up, eh? <laughs> what do you think, Derby? Come on, Derbs. Roughing it up. You know. Come on. Come on. Well, I don't know what you're talking about. Just because I'm from a roller derby doesn't mean I know everything there is about roughing stuff up. I'm just here for a little relaxation, a little cruising, if you don't mind. You know how long we has been sitting here? These was a gift. I came as a gift, you understand? I ain't even been broken in once. She needs to get out there. Ah, oh, crikey. Ah. Oh. You think she's going to go out there? She ain't been on skates in years. At least I'm a little bit more familiar. You don't understand. This is in her blood. In her bones. Either way, I'm just waiting to see who she's going to pick up first. That's right. How come you don't call me big? All I want to do is buy out your coffee shop. San Diegans always help out in difficult times. Now we're all finding new ways to offer support, including helping our local businesses by shopping online or picking up our orders curbside. In the months ahead, life will return to a normal pace and we'll reconnect with friends, get back to work, and start enjoying our favorite local places and events again. The tomatoes are all done, Mom. Thanks for being my prep cook. Don't think day job. Thanks. You're welcome, Mom. Oh. Oh, man. You New Yorkers are so tough on people. <laughs> well, 
I don't know. I picked up tennis a little bit. I did play a little bit of that, but I don't know. It's been, it's been kind of nice around the house. I started helping my mom. Yeah, just like with the gardening and cooking. It's just more like a prep cook thing because I don't really know how to cook, but I'm watching her, so like I'm learning. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, it's been kind of nice. Did you hear that, Keys? What's that, Yuki? She said she helped make dinner. Huh. I don't think she's done that in a long time. Well, I think that's great. Me too. Did you hear that, everybody? She helped make dinner. She helped make dinner. She helped make dinner. Cheers to a great dinner. Hey, cheers. Oh, I reckon I don't want to tell you I told you so. <laughs> I told you so. <laughs> Sheila went out there. She got a little run in on the court, yeah? So what? So you were right. But you know what's important? Did you hear that? She hung out with the family. Ain't nothing better than that. That's how things supposed to be. Yeah. She's doing good. Hooray! Oh, hooray! Let's hear it for all of the Living Room Player participants from tonight and from last night, if you were a part of that. Weren't they just marvelous? I feel so connected and inspired to every by everyone that decided to take part in this event. What a wonderful gift. I, I really enjoyed this performance. It was a great show. I, and I can't believe that it happened all during this quarantine. Thank you. Please, if you're watching, give our brave and talented performers a rousing round of emoji applause in the comments. They really deserve some love. And if you feel inspired, why not write a couple of things that you liked about today's show? It's nice to get a little positive review. And that is it for this season of the Living Room Play Workshop and the festival. We had a really great time hanging in our living rooms together, didn't we? The Old Globe Arts Engagement Department is dedicated to making theater matter to more people, no matter what is happening in the world, and we are not going anywhere. I hope you'll check out all of the wonderful creative programming on our pages and that you get to making your own fabulous works of art right now because the world needs it and the world needs you. And that's it, friends. Please make sure that you are registered to vote and doubly make sure that you actually vote and do it early if you can. See you next time. <laughs> Festival. Festival.